This was always like an underground kind of game uh, that the military played together, but at the time we, we called it underwater football. Now we're just adapting it, making it a little bit safer, putting more rules and regulations on it. We have 17 different locations now. Not all of them play UTL all the time, but uh, most of them do. If you can imagine like a water polo net, you shrink it down, put it down in the deep end of the pool. It's five on five, and the goal is to get the torpedo inside that goal. You can only move the torpedo if you're underwater, right? So if you have the torpedo, you need to hold your breath and then swim underwater with it or pass it underwater. If you come up for air or any part of your body touches the surface of the water while you have the torpedo, it's a penalty call. So it'll be a turnover to the other team. You can go into a scrap like freaked out or, and like stressed out and like wrestling each other and stuff like that. Or you can go into like in a really calm manner like, hey, do I have the grip of this torpedo right now? Do I have the ability to pass it? Or hey, he has a strong grip on it too. It's a de-stressor, you know, throughout, throughout whether it's work life, you know, relationships, just whatever's stressing you out you know, day to day. We teach breathing techniques here that totally calm the heart, slow the mind down. Everybody has that fight or flight symptoms when they're holding their breath underwater in that survival mode, right? And we put you in that situation repetitively in the pool in a controlled and safe environment to help you adapt and build better coping mechanisms. Everybody can feel the same effects of holding their breath and being underwater and, and putting a unifying environment of like, hey, I'm dealing through struggles in the water as well. We challenge a lot of veterans that come out. Since I got out of the military, I think I've had like eight friends now that I know about that committed suicide because of the transition piece. They didn't have a community or a network. It doesn't matter if you're a special operations guy. It doesn't matter if you're an Olympic swimmer. Everybody's here to come to the community, to learn, to grow, to be better than they were when they showed up at the pool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.